Yeah, this is uh, Yakao from Great Millstone, GMS. London Forecasters, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, our teachers. Salutations to the Archimedes, where they say in truth and blessings to the elect. And the one third blessed to be saved. And um, I'm in hospital at the moment, and today I'm being released. And I say released because it feels like prison, you know, because I've got a sickle cell. I've done videos like this before, but I think it's good to... Um, just keep doing them. I don't want to keep coming to hospital because I've got sickle cell and it's a painful disease. And as I said before, they treat us very badly. But the Lord has been, he's always with me, whether I get treated good or bad. But this time he put a lot of favor because um, I came in last Monday. The pain wasn't controlled by the Tuesday. Um, they had to up the dose of morphine by Tuesday evening, Wednesday, Thursday. And finally, Friday got controlled. So today's what? Tuesday. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So three days later, I'm much better. I'm going to go home. Um, but I just like to do these little things. And to really encourage you brothers and you sisters out there that these are trials and these are tests that the Lord puts us through. Okay? Hi. Hi. Then that was my nurse just coming by. So it's just um, a quick video. To Do you want the or are you opening your bottle? Make sure that you know you brothers, sisters, in this truth, or um, even if you're not in this truth. Um, well, to be honest, we only care about the ones in this truth. All right. If you got a uh, sickle cell or, or cancer or whatever, and you're not in this truth, you're basically you've got a death sentence. All right. Because a, a lot of you blacks now, you know that you're Israelites. And you don't give a shit. Like my dad, he doesn't give a shit. So what's going to happen to him? What's my mom? She doesn't give a shit. What's going to happen to her? Sisters, they don't give a shit. What's going to happen? Only 34%, like Zechariah 13 and 8 tells you, is going to make it. Romans 9, 27, man. A remnant shall be saved. You know? And that nurse that walked by just now, she's um, related to the footballer, um, Gomez, who plays for Liverpool. You know? She's from Gambia. She's an Israelite too. But in this ward, they treated me very good. It's not weird things. Coincidences happen. I do talks in medical schools. Two of the students I taught in January came on their placements on this ward and uh, met me when I was really bad. And it was a, it was strange. Then the brother next to me, you know, he's, he's got sickle cell as well, but um, I had a, a Edomite next to me, and he was funny. He was a, he was a good... Neighbor, because this is a room. You got TV there. You got a jug of water there. Fan. You got all the hospital stuff, oxygen mask, which comforts you when you're in pain, just like the Bible scriptures do. Romans 15 and 4. All right. So I'm just doing a short video to encourage any brothers and sisters who's going through this or anything else to keep persevering with the Lord, because Job. He overcome all obstacles. The Lord said to Satan, you can do what you want to him, but don't kill him. And afterwards, Job kept his integrity of faith, and then he was increased. You know, all that he lost, he got back and more. And that's what we're going to get in the kingdom. Because right now, no one gives a damn about us. Even some of these um, nurses who are Israelites treat us badly, but the Lord zapped their minds, and they treated me like, a son, man, you know, uh, nothing really bad happened, but I get emotional when I come in hospital, and rightfully so, but Revelations 21 and 4 tells you that the elect and one third who are saved, the Lord's going to wipe the tears from their eyes, no death, no mourning, no pain, that's when your shy comes back, all right, so this is just a quick video to encourage you, brothers and sisters, when I go home, I edit it, I give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, double honesty, apostles, I was great, most on. So I taste the arguments just want to say in truth. Shalom.
There was an idea. To bring together a group of remarkable people. To see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. Desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Evacuate the city. Engage all defenses. And get this man a shield. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face.